We're going to talk zig rigs now. Um, this crazy contraption is an adjustable zig, which I have never cast out in my entire life. But you have, haven't you? A few fish in the manor, yeah, deep yeah. waters and what have you. Yeah. It's ideal, isn't it? Ideal. Because you can let it come up to the surface, can't you? So you haven't got to fish a, a 12 foot hook link if you want to be un a foot under yeah. the surface in 13 foot. So yeah. talk us through that from the hook bait end. Right, what we got there, Dan, we got a little sliver of black foam, just right. normal black foam, not flavoured, not glugged. Just on its own. Just on its Just own. Just on its own. Right. And right. I hear black is the best colour, is that right? It, yeah, black is, is very popular because right. people think that it kind of simulates nymphs and, and flies and insects. But I've caught a lot of fish on yellow as well. Right. Just okay. kind of ring in the changes and keep, keep trying it until it works. Right. Reds, whites, anything really. Anything. Right, um, okay. Underneath, oh. underneath the dissolvable foam is a size 10 curve. Right. Which with that little, the curved aggressive angle does nail them. Right. It, I it, noticed as well before you put that foam on quite a long hair. What's the reason for that? It, it, it's deceptive. It's not the hair that's that long. It's the knotless knot that is long. Right. I go down about 16, 17 times. Right, OK. Just to keep it tight to the shank. Right. Because if you have a fish or it, on the cast, if it kinks up, and it, it, will, it will sit out from the hook. Right. And I, I like it all neat and tight. So right. that's the reason for, for, the, for the big knotless knot, if you right. like. And what's the hook link material? Uh, that's £10 Pro Clear. Right, OK. Really durable, cast well. Uh, you get a few more casts out of it before it will kink. Right. and curl up than, than other, other makes a line that I've used in the past. Right, okay, and then down to this bit, um, we've got a, a rig ring there, Yeah. and then a subflow on what? What's that That's running on? That's 15 pounds stiff bristle, bristle right. filament. Right. And that is just to act as a boom to kick the whole thing away on the cast. Right. For, from the lead. Right, because it, it is prone to tangling. They are very it? susceptible to tangling, yes. So right. th that just aids as a bit of a boom. Right, uh, okay. ob Obviously the subflow is there to, to keep it all buoyant. Yep. You've then got a, a size eight swivel with a shock bead, yep. and they're just a running lead. Right. Okay. No, no, uh, no quick links, no link loops, nothing on that. Just the lead, as you would right. as you would buy it from the shop. Right. And there is a knack. You can cast this out for us now, because obviously yep. conditions have changed. That, that it's looking good for a bite on the top. We've seen a few cruising around, mm -hmm. haven't we? So, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's loads up on the so, top. So uh, you, you're whacking it out there because of the changing conditions more yeah, than anything yeah. else. So before you cast this out, there is a neck to cast in it, isn't there? So explain to us how you do it. Well, when you're watching the rig flying through the air, yep. you can either watch the foam or the subflow. It's quite, both quite visible, yep. even on overcast days. Just as it's about to hit the surface, trap it with your finger on your spool. Yep. Or if you fish it, you can fish it in a, in a clip and fish on the clip. Yep. The problem with that is you need to get it out of the clip instantly because right. you want it to free fall. So the lead's free falling and the float's pulling against it, which keeps it all right. moving. So you're sort of stopping it to flick it out yeah. and then you're letting it go. So the lead plummets down and yeah. it keeps it all apart. So yes. it's tangling yeah. on the way down, basically. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you don't feel it down like a, yeah. a normal rig. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. because yeah. It, it, sometimes it will have a tendency, even with a stiff boom, if you're feeling it down, it can twist. Yeah, you the just, hook link's twisting around the main yeah, line. Yeah, right, you okay. just want to minimise all, all, all your chances of anything happening. You want, it, you want it to get bang on first time, certainly if you're on the fish anyway. Sure. And then I take it you're letting it out then until first of all you see the foam come up. Yeah. And then you're then going the to see the float, up. float pops up yeah. as well. Yeah. And then you're just adjusting it down. Yeah, you pull it down on your clutch, um, you float a bob down, and then because the foam is still, you know, you can still see the white foam. Yeah. You'll just see it, and just as it's nicked under the surface, you that, I always do it in my hand, and then I'll put my rod on the rest. Right. And then I'll just so the float's nicked under, and yep. that's my starting point, so I know I'm at like an inch under the surface. Right, okay. Uh, and then you can play around with all sorts of depths. Right, okay. But because you haven't got to keep reeling it in to tie new zigs up, yep. you can, it's so easy. You could fish 20 different depths in four hours. Right. You could fish six foot six, six foot eight. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. And, right. Because it's a lot harder uh, to go deeper with the zig, because once you once it's too low, you've then got a tiny. You've tied an eight foot zig, and they're at ten foot. Yeah, you've, you've got, got to tie you've a whole another one. Whereas this yeah. one, you can just let yeah. two foot of line yeah. out, yeah. and you know it, it's, it's ten foot off yeah. the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay. But well, I, I always start at the once that's disappeared. I know exactly, and always remember exactly where I am in the right. upper layers. Right, okay. You know, so if I'm eighteen inches, it, it, it's just memorising where you are. Right. from the start. Okay, and you just search around until you start Yeah, just play bites. around until you get bites, yeah. Right, cool. All right, mate, well, I'll get out of the way. You okay. work that out there. It's looking bang on for one at the moment. Look at that, it's like a mill pond. Get it out there, mate, let's get bite. Okay.